Hey guys, Dan the Man here, and today we are going to. I dropped the NVMe SSD. Today we are going to upgrade this laptop. This is the Asus ROG Streak G15, and uh, it's pretty much the same with the Scar Edition or other editions that Asus has released because it has the same chassis. So I bought this 500 extra gigabyte NVMe PCIe SSD with a read and write speed of uh, two point and a half gigabytes. It's got a beautiful heat sink on it. It's nice. To touch but i can't touch it once i put once i put it inside there yeah that's what he said anyways so um i've unboxed this in the other video it's a pretty good ssd for the price you're paying for it it already has 512 gigabytes inside which got the wind which has got the windows on it but i am going to be putting this thing inside this and i'm going to show you how you can do that actually very quickly so enough of talking daniel and get the get things on make sure your computer is off and uh nothing's going on in there so turn it the other way around and don't slam it on your desk. <laughs> so we've got how many screws in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I, I lost. I lost the count. But anyways, doesn't matter. So we're gonna undo these screws on the side in here first. If you want, you can actually uh, skip the video so that you don't have to watch all the nonsense that I'm gonna be saying throughout this video. So. Um, some of the screws actually on this model stay inside it so uh, you can't actually take them under attached to the actual casing or housing of the computer so i'm trying to get the other one out yes come out yes that's what i'm talking about two out put them on the side and uh Let's do this. These two stay inside the chassis. They do not come off. The rest do come off, okay? So let's do the other one very quickly. All right, don't forget the longer screws. There, there's a long one in here and another long one in there. There are long screws and shorter screws. I'm screwing the screws with a screwdriver. And that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Anyway, so, uh, yes, I'm taking that out as well. Just uh, don't take the back panel off once you've undone uh, all the screws. I hope it's yeah, it is recording and focusing kind of. But I'm just trying to be as quick as possible. You, can, you guys can actually skip this. But yes, that's right. Put all the screws to one side so you're not going to be losing them. Okay, so what I like about this design is that once you have it this way, uh, these two stay in there. Don't try to take them out. They're attached to the board. So once you undo these, the bottom actually pops automatically. So you can just go around it, but don't pull anything up. You can use a card or whatever, you know, like just to take this back panel off. Yeah. So I'm just going around it. Don't pull this out because there are ribbon cables in there. Do not do that, okay? You're not gonna, you, you don't wanna be ripping them uh, apart. So what I suggest you to do is detach this thing and push it forward, yes. Push it forward, towards that way and upwards. That way, forward and upwards on the left and right side of the laptop. But don't pull this thing completely out. Okay, so now this thing's out, right? So wait, do not take the back panel off yet. Turn this thing the other way around. And, okay, you see these uh, exhausts around there? You see the exhaust, turn it this way, and then gently push this back. I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing it wrong. Put, gently push it back. You see these ribbon cables? You don't want to be tearing them apart. So that's the reason I told you to turn it around towards the exhaust and open it from this way. So before doing anything actually on this device, there are two uh, latches that are holding these ribbon cables. You can just undo them so you can freely do your stuff around here. You just go there, undo undo boom so now you can put it back if you want to put it back again do it this way this is easier you have a lot of uh, space in there 
So we're gonna put that aside right now. You have another NVMe SSD in there. So we're gonna put this beautiful baby in there, but do not touch anything on the board until you have detached the battery and you're sure that you're not gonna be shorting anything and screwing anything up in here, okay? So now, first things first. Uh, there is a small latch on the battery in there. You push it towards yourself, towards this fans, okay? And boom, you heard the click. And then try to take it out. Boom, you have it out now. Now you're safe to do whatever you want on this device. Yeah. So now let's push it towards this side. There is a small screw in there. I'm gonna put, be putting it in there. So it already has that screw it came with it. Make sure you're not gonna lose it. And I'm gonna put my M2, beautiful M2 SSD in there and then pull it down, boom, see, like that. Uh, unfortunately, this screwdriver that I have is not magnetic, so I have to be holding this screw as I'm putting it in there. Sounds so wrong. Anyways, so now you have your beautiful SSD installed in there. It's next to the battery. You have another basically uh, PCIe um, NVMe SSD upgrade in there available where you can swap your old one as well if you wanted to, which is there. So now you have one in there. You can have another one and you'll have a lot of space and drive in there. Let's say hypothetically speaking, you wanted to also uh, upgrade your RAM, right? So what I suggest you guys to do is that push these two latches towards the left hand, right? Boom, comes out. And then you can put your RAM in there. You can put up to 64 gigabytes, I believe, and upgrade this thing to whatever you want. It's got very good cooling design. Do not open this thing. It will void the warranty. Okay, do not do that. And that's it. Now, let's put, this, uh, put things back together quickly. Pull, push the, pull this back, the battery thing in there and then push boom remember to close the latch in there okay remember to do that now after you're done with that thing you have your ribbon cables okay you see this beautiful blue thingy it's an indicator it shows you and helps you to put it back in there now push the ribbon cable back in i hope my camera is focusing well enough oh you need to play with it a little bit. I'm trying to... Yes, it went in. Now close it. Close the latch. Same thing on the other side. You gotta be patient with it, you know, like take your time. Because I'm doing it on camera and I have a camera in front of me and a tripod, it's hard to see inside there. Okay, inside boom now this is installed now before putting everything back together just to be sure that we are doing it right uh, just put the thing back together okay before putting the screws back inside we want to make sure that everything's actually working on this computer gosh a lot of dust in here okay so just open your computer and switch it on and wait for it to boot. Okay, the RGB looks to be working. It's recognizing the new hardware now, I assume. It may take a little bit of time because we just put a new hardware inside it. Okay, yes, it is up and running like like i said the bios needs to adapt with the new stuff and you can see the rgb stuff is still working and it's beautifully just done so that's it pretty much guys and um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna like close this thing even though it's switched on it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna put the screws back in here very easy we don't have a lot of time the big screws like this go in here in here in here in there in there the small screws go in there small group screw goes there small screw goes here small screw goes here and these two are already attached to the uh, the base i mean two small ones two small ones 
two big ones, one in the middle, big one, big one, big one, and these two are already attached to the base. Put them back to be together and that's it guys. So my camera's memory is running out, so you guys have a great day or evening or whatever you're doing and subscribe if you like my stupid channel. But anyways, yeah.